A number of key components in handheld communication devices have benefited from the miniaturization of computer parts, resulting in, for example, smaller and smaller cell phones. But as these devices add more capabilities, they're growing larger and larger. One of the factors driving the size of mobile handheld communicators is the filter. A filter means that one person can be talking on a cell phone next to another person on a cell phone and their phones don't pick up each other's conversation. Now add GPS, add another filter. Add Bluetooth, add another filter. Add Wi-Fi, add another filter, and so on. Next generation 3G and 4G devices are predicted to require more than 26 discrete filters. Sandia National Laboratory's engineers are working on the miniaturization of these filters. Microresonators are small acoustic resonators that form filters or oscillator references. They are manufactured using integrated circuit manufacturing techniques. And that's unique because that allows us to realize many, many different frequencies, anywhere from about 32 kilohertz to 10 gigahertz on a single substrate. And when used in a filtering application, the microresonators are used for RF either band or channel selection so that many people can talk on wireless devices or use many different wireless devices at the same time right next to each other. They're all operating at different frequencies and the filter selects which specific frequency is appropriate for which specific device. So micro resonators and micro filters are, work on the principle of resonance. Uh, it's very similar to that of violin string vibrating. You can imagine uh, that string vibrates only at a particular frequency. We design micro resonators to vibrate only at a particular frequency. And if you place multiple ones at different frequencies on the same chip, you can realize frequency selective devices. So you can pick only, for instance, your band where you're talking on your cell phone, like 1.8 gigahertz. You can design resonators that only oscillate or resonate at 1.8 gigahertz. And that way we can select that frequency and use that in communication systems and, and such. Here you can see a surface acoustic wave filter, which would be commonly deployed in an intermediate frequency filter in something like a radar or a communication system next to a US penny. And you can see these are about comparable size. What you can see here is a micro resonator filter. Uh, it's packaged at the wafer level, so it's just a single chip component that can be handled like any other integrated circuit. And you can see it next to uh, President Lincoln's nose on the US penny. In addition to cell phones, Microresonators can be used in CMOS processes to allow integration with products like amplifiers, switches, and other digital signal processing. The frequency range is orders of magnitude wider than existing technologies and is wide enough to include timers, AM FM radio, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and military radar and satellite communication bands. The military applications of microresonator filters are really in obtaining smaller size and higher performance simultaneously. Microresonator filters are over 100 times smaller than surface acoustic wave filters, which are commonly used in, in defense communication systems such as radars and military radios. They also eliminate the need for off-chip matching networks, which result in further size reductions. Sandia National Laboratories is utilizing its microelectrical mechanical manufacturing capability to be the first to develop microresonators for the commercial industry. And one of the most important aspects for the future of microresonator technology is in realizing many frequency filters in a very small space, which will allow your phone to operate at higher bandwidths with lower power consumption, lower production costs, and with less interference than what's possible today. I believe that our particular uh, filter technology is going to change the future in terms of allowing cognitive radios, essentially radios that can scan this radio spectrum and, and find open channels that are not being used and enable higher data rates, higher bandwidth. Your cell phone is going to become much more agile in how it uses the frequency spectrum and this is going to enable that technology. Today's cell phones, while they could do that with existing technology, would just be too large.
Thank you.